Noorwijk, the Netherlands, is where European scientists have been really shaking things up. In ESA's unique testing facility, a new satellite endured pyrotechnic shocks, acoustic battering and vigorous vibrations to see if it will survive a rocket launch. This satellite is part of the in-orbit validation phase of Galileo, Europe's own global navigation satellite system that will provide a highly accurate, guaranteed global positioning service under civilian control. Galileo is a very important program for Europe. It will provide uh, for its own uh, satellite navigation infrastructure that will be used in uh, a large variety of applications, in particular in the transport sector. With Galileo, we will not depend on the use of the American GPS and we will have better performance by the use of new technologies. Now, this is the foundation of Galileo with the validation of the system. Two satellites are already in orbit and they'll soon be joined by four satellites like this one. So in the in-orbit uh, validation phase we will have our first four satellites and we will have a, 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 a supporting ground infrastructure and we'll use this phase of the project basically to prove that we can meet uh, many of the system uh, requirements or to validate the system before we uh, complete and deploy the, the, the full system. When fully deployed Galileo will be a constellation of 30 satellites built by European companies, guided by the European Space Agency. Well, Galileo is a very special project, first for ESA, uh, because it has been an instrument in order to develop uh, new technologies. We are embarking on Galileo satellites uh, very high accuracy atomic clocks. We are also transmitting uh, novel signals, which haven't been used before by any uh, navigation system. But it is also a very important program for Europe, uh, Galileo is the first program in uh, joint cooperation between the European Commission and the European Space Agency. It's a good example of European cooperation. Um, I think in the future we'll be able to prove that with a very successful uh, uh, service that will be used worldwide. And it will provide us with uh, absolutely essential services that um, we shouldn't have to rely on the United States to provide. But before this is the case, a lot of work has still to be done, including the vibration test. Start test. The satellite is being placed on, on the top of a table, and this table is shaking the spacecraft in various axes in order to emulate the mechanical environment that the satellite will encounter during the launch phase. The in-orbit validation satellite has passed all the tests here in Nordwijk without any problems. The next step, more testing in Italy to see if it will endure the extreme temperatures in space.